Hi everyone! So I'm gonna try filming out here because, um, I don't know, the lighting in the closet is really, it's like really bad right now and I need to buy a new light bulb so I'm gonna try to do that and you know we'll see how that goes. But I thought I would go ahead and do my February favorites. Um, because, oh, one of them I forgot. I'll have to get it. Um, but I wanted to do that because one of my favorites is you're not going to be able to get it after the month of February. So, if you wanted it, I just wanted to, you know, like, give you a chance. So, but I'll go ahead and get started with, um, I'll start with perfume. So, I've been really liking, I just have a roller ball of it, and it's the Hot Couture by Givenchy. Um, I used to have a really big bottle of this. A long time ago which I prefer the big bottles I do um, and I had the edu perfume or whatever and this is just the edu toilet and I can tell a difference in the scent it's not bad I mean it still smells really good but the edu perfume perf I always feel weird saying that but that one's just a little bit um, stronger lasts a little bit longer and I'm the type of person I like to smell so in a good way. And then I've also been loving Be Enchanted um, from Bath and Body Works. It's really pretty. And I've used this a lot. Like, a lot. And I really haven't, like, like, I do that at least twice a day. And I haven't used that much. I really kind of want to get the perfume. But I'm talking myself out of it because I feel like I don't need another perfume, but I just love it. Like, this is probably my all-time favorite Bath and Body Works scent ever 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 even more than I loved Secret Wonderland and I think I love this more it's just it's very sweet if you don't like sweet scents you probably won't like it um it's very sweet and almost candy like but then it's not I don't know it's like fruity candy <laughs> one of my cats is gonna jump up here you wanna come be in here oh my gosh look at him Zoe what are you doing, little Eskimo? Okay. <clears throat> so, um, well, I'll go move on to my other favorites because I feel like I've spent way too long talking about that. So, I've been loving the Naked 2 palette still. Um, I use this every day. I have um, colors on today and I use the brush. I love everything about it. I love every single color. I feel like you can do any kind of look with it. Um, I love this more than the regular Naked palette, I think. I just love it. I love it. You need it. It's worth the money because you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 shadows. And yeah, it is $50. But I'm sure you've all seen it a million times. It's just definitely worth the money. Okay? So go get it. Um, oh, my stuff is over here. Hello. Okay. So, what I have been loving as far as face stuff goes is I got a sample of this a long time ago and it's the Fresh Twilight Fresh Glow and I didn't use it for the longest time because I was kind of scared of it. Like I have oily skin and I didn't want to look like a grease ball but since it's been um, winter I've been breaking out the highlighters and stuff like I've been going a little crazy but it just looks like a cream like that. And what I like about it is, as you will probably see, it's not super, um, it's just, it really is a glow. It's not shimmery. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's a glow. And I've been kind of using it as a moisturizer. And I love the way it smells. I don't know what it smells like, but it doesn't, it probably isn't really supposed to have a smell, but I just love the way it smells. It smells so good. So talking about highlighting um I bought this a long time ago did not like it at all and it's the NARS Copacabana multiple and mine broke um it looks like this and I don't know if you can see it it's not my favorite color look it doesn't twist down so but I um I've been liking it a little more what happened was is when we moved I packed a makeup bag I'm just stuff I wear every day, which is pretty much what's in my favorites. Um, my everyday makeup, and I was using that, and I found this when I was packing my makeup, and I was like, you know, I really need to use this more. It was expensive. So I started using it more, and um, 
I guess it's kind of weird that I'm putting it in my favorites video because I have like a love-hate relationship with it. Um, yeah. I don't like the, the stick thing. I don't really, the color is not really a good color for me as a highlight. I'm so fair. I need like a white highlighter. So, um, I wouldn't go out and buy this. Oh, I remember why I was going to say it is I got a sample of the liquid illuminator and Copacabana and I love, love, love that. So I thought, well, if I love that, then maybe I'll love this, but I don't love it. I like it, but if you get the liquid one, that's the good one. So, okay, I'll stop talking about that now. Um, I've also been loving the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in 10 Fair. And as you can see, I've used, like, quite a bit of it. I really like the applicator. I like the little sponge thing. And um, I really like the formula. And it gives good coverage. I don't have really heavy, dark circles. So I don't need a really heavy coverage. But I do need something to just kind of brighten it up and make it not look, I don't know, as old. I feel like I'm getting old. Make me look a little younger. And I feel like this does that. I really like it. So, and it's really affordable. I would definitely buy it again. I want to try the brightening one just because I'm curious. So, but, oh, and of course, I feel bad. I say this in every video, but my Stila Make Me Blush blush, this one, that has been through quite a bit. It looks like this. Really pretty with, like, little hearts. Um, this is on Hot Look, Oat Look, whatever you want to call it, for like $7 or something. So keep your eye out because sometimes they re redo like different stuff. So um, yeah, I tweeted about it and when I saw it on there, I was like, oh my gosh. So um, if you don't already follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter because when I see stuff like this, I will send a link out and be like, it's so cheap, you need to get it. I should have got one, but um, it was right, it was like literally the day we were moving. I felt really overwhelmed and I mean honestly I have so many blushes am I really gonna go through this I mean, I've been using this for months and I haven't hardly made a dent in it I don't think but now I'm starting to get worried <laughs> no I'm good um okay and for this blush in particular I love using this brush and I don't know if this is new or old um naming of it it's the Sigma Duo Fiber F50 and it looks like this um, I really like it for this blush because it's such a, um, this is such a pigmented color that you need a blush brush that's going to kind of help make it lighter and disperse it, and that's what this does, and it's really dirty. As you can see, I've been using it a lot, a lot, and I don't know, it's one of my favorite brushes ever for blush. I like it because it's big, I have big cheeks, you know? So, and for eyes, um... This mascara, when I first bought it, I hated it. It's the Prestige My Blackest Lashes. And I bought it because I saw Michelle 1218 talk about it. And I was like, if she likes it, I will probably like it. I hated it. It was horrible. It did nothing for my lashes. Um, it didn't make them longer. It didn't give them volume. It just basically coated them in black, which I guess, you know, it says intense black volume mascara, and it was definitely intense black, but no volume. But after it sat in my drawer, I mean, it sat in my drawer for a long time, like more than you're supposed to keep mascaras, but I'm a rule breaker. Um, and I love it now. Like, I would repurchase it and, like, open it and let it sit and then use it. Because it's like now, I'll show you the brush. Now that it's dried out some, it just really works for me. And I like the brush, so I really, really, really like it. Um, okay. I'm totally rambling today. For my lips, I've been wearing this combination a lot. The Revlon Lip Butters, I love every single color I've gotten. I just love the formula. Um, and this one in Sweet Tart is one of my favorites. It comes, you know, a cute little pink case. And it looks like this. And it's really pretty. It's pink, but it has a tiny little bit of coral in it. So, and then what I've been using over it, I bought this probably close to a year ago. I can't remember what the collection is called from MAC, but it's Girl Heart Boy, and it's a plush glass. I hate their plush plush glasses, but like I said, when I was moving, um, I pulled stuff out that I hadn't used in a long time, and it's this kind of milky pink color, and then if you put it over the Sweet Tart, it kind of just, you know, talks out here. I didn't put any on today yet. I was going to. My cat is going crazy. They always do that. I don't know. Especially the one I showed. She's been hiding since we moved. And now she's 
like choosing to be free and wild. I don't know. Okay, so let me go get my last favorite and then I'll be done. Okay. So my last favorite in general is Scentsy. I love, love Scentsy. Um, I'm sure you all know what it is and you've heard of it. And if not, just search for it on YouTube and you'll find lots of videos. But my favorite scent ever is called Eskimo Kiss and it looks like this. And I originally liked it because of um, the name, one of our cats, the one I showed, her name's Zoe, but we call her Eskimo, I don't know why, it just kind of happened one day, so when I got it in the mail, I love the smell of it, my friend, she doesn't like it so much, she's crazy, so she gave me one of hers, she gave me this one, which she used it once, as you can see the little brick, she used it once, and she was like, you can have it, so thank you. And they're discontinuing it after February because it was like when they're holiday scents. So I bought two more because I'm a crazy hoarder lady, pretty much. Um, okay, so then my memory card got full. <laughs> this is going to be a really long video. It's going to take forever to upload. Um, so I was talking about the holiday collection from Scentsy. And the other one I really like is Silver Bells, which I have to say when I smelt it in here, oh. It doesn't smell good, but I have it burning in our room, and I love the way it smells. It smells really kind of perfumey and clean. And here, it does not smell like that. It smells minty and just weird, but I like it a lot burning. And Eskimo Kiss, let me see if I can... It's fruity, like a warm fruity scent, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah, that's what I would say. It kind of smells like snow a little bit. There's my baby. There's my Eskimo. Do you want to smell it? You want to come smell it? She's like, mm, I came to get food. So my little Eskimo joined us. <laughs> She's eating though. Um, so anyway, I have my little Scentsy basket with all my Eskimo kiss because I'm a crazy lady. Um, so that's my favorites for February. Um, I hope everyone had a great February. I've had a lot of changes going on. Uh, we moved about two hours away from where we were living, and my husband's been working a lot. So I'm so happy that I'm here with him. It kind of sucks. Um, I'm trying to find, like, a job or something to do, you know? And um, his birthday is on Sunday tomorrow, so... Happy birthday! Oh, and then another favorite. I can't... I knew this was going to happen. I should have made a list. So one of my very best friends that I have known for like 15 years or something, um, she started making YouTube videos and that makes me really happy especially since I moved and now I can like watch her YouTube videos. So what she does is she um, is a mommy of twins, they're almost four months old and um, she kind of does videos about that stuff and she also she did a haul the other day of like home decor stuff that was really neat um so if you're a mommy or not a mommy and you just want to watch videos about that you should check her out her name is um fairy lady five but I'll put her link below because it's spelt kind of different so I'll put her link below her name's Catherine and I love her so hey boo so go check her out and, um, you know, support her because it's kind of nerve-wracking when you first start doing YouTube. And it's like weird talking to a camera, but I'm used to it because I talk to myself all the time. So, see, I'm rambling right now. But anyway, okay, that really, that's my favorites for the month of February. So I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.